Hi, this is the Alpha Streams Portfolio Optimization Notebook. This notebook demonstrates how to optimize the allocation given to each alpha in a portfolio of alphas. We take a walk forward approach where we rebalance the portfolio every month in an effort to maximize the portfolio's Sortino ratio. To avoid any look ahead bias, we optimize the allocations given to the alphas using only their historical equity curves as we step through time. The first step is to specify a few user settings. Here we declare which AlphaStream's algorithms we'd like to analyze by providing the name of each algorithm along with an ID. The ID is retrieved from the URL of the alpha listing in the alpha market. So if we look at this individual AlphaStream's algorithm, we can see the ID in the URL right here. At the bottom of this cell, we also select how long of a look-back period to use when calculating the Sortino ratio on the portfolio. Here we set it to 45 days, but it is customizable. Now that we've set our settings here, we need to run the cell, and we can do so by clicking this button here. Alternatively, you can hold Shift and press Enter. The next step is to gather the live equity curves of the AlphaStream's algorithms. To do so, we use the CFSV that is available in the Alpha Marketplace. We can see the equity curves are downloadable by clicking this link here, and that's the CSV that we're using in this notebook. Since we need multiple equity curves in order to perform the optimization, the curves are truncated at the beginning here, so at least two alphas are always running live. To ensure the equity curves are all on the same scale with a starting value of 1, the curves are normalized. So I'm going to run this cell to gather the live equity curves of the algorithms. We can see a line plot as well as a time series below. Here we call the optimized allocations method. This method steps through the equity curves data frame that we created above. Each month, we select a look-back window on the live equity curves of each alpha. The optimizer then tests a collection of different weights for the alphas across these trailing equity curves, and the allocation weights that optimize the portfolio Sortino ratio are selected, saved into a time series, and returned from this method call. Each month, we aim to allocate 100% of the portfolio among the alphas, with the allocation for each alpha being between 0 and 100%. Through the optimization, the weight given to each AlphaStream's algorithm varies over time, so here we're going to plot some charts and display a table to show the dynamic allocations. I'm going to run this cell to run the optimizer. It'll tell us that it's working. To perform the optimization only takes a few seconds, uh, but the more alphas you have, the longer it's going to take. So we see two bar plots here. The one on the top is showing the proportion of the portfolio that is given to each alpha streams algorithm during each rebalance. So one month is displayed for each bar in this top plot, and we can see the portfolio weight for each alpha in each individual bar. And in the bottom plot, we can see the number of different alphas that are allocated to in a given month. Below here, we can see a time series of the allocations for each alpha for each month. And the latest allocation decision is saved in the last row of this table, which we can see here. So now that we have the equity curves and the optimal allocations, we can compute the optimized equity curve of the portfolio. This is the equity curve we would have had if we followed the optimized allocations in real time. Now that we have our optimized portfolio equity curve, we can now calculate several performance statistics on the equity curve. And finally, we can display a plot of all of the AlphaStream's algorithms along with the optimized portfolio equity curve. The interesting thing here is we can see that the optimized equity curve actually outperforms all of the individual AlphaStream's algorithms in terms of raw return. 
Now there are a few files we can see included in this project on the left. We're going to take a quick look at the calculations.py file to see the objective function that the optimizer is using to determine the allocations. So here's our definition here of the objective function. It takes in as input the equity curves of the algorithms along with some weights. We combine all the equity curves using the weights provided by the optimizer to create a portfolio equity curve. We then evaluate the Sortino ratio on that portfolio equity curve and we take the negative of it so that the optimizer maximizes the Sortino ratio. And just to bound the value of the Sortino ratio between negative 5 and positive 5, we use this F scale method here which is just using a sigmoidal curve. So that is the end of the notebook. Thank you for listening.